question is quite challenging and interestingly there's actually quite a few different answers that you could get for this challenge. So I'm going to just explain how I would work through it um, and the method that I'm using is more of a guess and check. Okay so looking at challenge 11 here we can see that we've got six different types of donuts. So that's six different mystery values that we're trying to find out um, through the various equations that we've got available to us. Now, looking at these four different equations, four different donut combinations, I'm going to go with the very bottom row here, or the, the fourth line. The reason why I'm choosing this to start with is it's only is because it only has two different types of donuts. It's got the yellow donut and the brown donut. So that's less donuts to try and figure out. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to start with the yellow donut. So I know yellow donut times yellow donut. I'm using a mouse, so it's not going to be very neat, unfortunately. Divided by a chocolate donut no sprinkles on this chocolate donut, will equal 3. Now let's try and figure out what options we have for this. So if I did 1 times 1, so the yellow donut, yellow donut is equal to 1, that equals 1. I can't divide that to get to 3, so I'm going to cross that out. Yellow donut can't equal 1. Next I'm going to try is 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Can't divide it by anything to get 3 without making a decimal, so I'm going to cross that out as well. So if the yellow donut is equal to 3, 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So I can divide that by 3 to equal 3. So that is one option. So we could have the yellow donut equal to 3. And the chocolate donut equal to 3. Now I'm going to see if there's any other options just because it seems a little bit unusual for them all to be the same number. Um, they could be but let's try and figure something else as well. So 4 times 4 that's 16 can't divide that to be 3. 5 times 5 is 25 can't divide that into 3 without using a decimal. 6 times 6. Okay so 6 times 6 is 36. 36 divided by 12 equals 3. So this means that the yellow donut, the yellow donut has two options. It can equal 3 or it could equal 6. We're not sure which one yet. And the brown donut, the chocolate donut that is, we know that equals either three, it's only three if the yellow donut is three, or if the yellow donut is six, it could be 12. So these are our first two options. All right, so I'm just gonna put a line under this a little square around here so we know what our options are. Okay, so the next line I'm going to go to is this second equation here. Okay, so pink sprinkles donut times a pink donut donut minus our yellow donut equals 14. So let's make draw some donuts. Okay, so let's get that pink colour first. Perfect. Alright, so we've got a So we've got our pink donut with sprinkles first. Okay, so pink donut, I'm going to draw some sprinkles on it as well because we don't want to get those two pink donuts mixed up. Okay, so pink donut times pink donut. sprinkles on that pink donut minus the yellow donut equals 14. Now 
Now, if the yellow donut is three, okay, so let's pretend that the yellow donut here is three because we've got two options. It's either going to be three or it's going to be six. Now, if the yellow donut is three, that means that pink donut with sprinkles times pink donut has to equal 17, okay? Because if we were to take away this here and add it onto this side, it will be pink sprinkles times pink donut equals 17 because we add that three. Now, 17 is a prime number, so it would mean that one of these donuts has to be a one and the other would be 17. I think that's pretty unlikely seeing as we have to times the numbers together over here and against the chocolate. So this chocolate donut, if that's equal to 3 or 12, we'd have to times it by 17 and then divide it by a number to equal 4. Very unlikely that combination is going to work. So this yellow donut, I'm going to assume, is actually 6. Okay, so that means I'm just going to go into the yellow here. I'm actually going to rub out the 3 here. And that also means that I'm going to rub out the 3 here. So I know now that the yellow donut is equal to 6 and the chocolate donut is equal to 12. So let's go back to our working out. So pink sprinkles times pink donut minus 6 equals 14. So if we were to change this yellow donut to 6, Let's get rid of the 6. So the way that we do that is we add it to the other side. Which means pink sprinkles times pink donut will equal 20. Now it's a lot easier to find factors for 20 than it is to find factors for 17. Oh, sorry, it's a lot easier when it's not a prime number. That is a lot easier to get options. So now we know, let's try and think of all the different options that we could have for our pink donuts. So to get to the number of 20, we've got lots of factors. It could be 1 times 20, it could be 2 times 10, or it could be 4 times 5. So there are our three different pair options. Now we don't know which one's which. So it could be pink sprinkles being one or pink sprinkles being 20, pink being one. So we could switch them up. But we know these are the three options for our pink donut and our pink donut with sprinkles. Okay, the three pair options. Okay, so now I'm going to move to line three. Got our options, so we need to narrow it down. So far we know that the yellow donut is worth 6 and the chocolate donut is worth 12. Okay, so line 3. We've got chocolate donut times pink donut divided by chocolate sprinkles equals 4. Okay, we're going to have to do some more guessing and check. Alright, so we know our chocolate donut first. So that is equal to 12. Let me get that brown. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to do a line. And I'm just going to write here equation 4. Not very neatly, but that'll do. And then this one is for equation 2. So that's second line. So now we're going to work on equation 3. Which, as we can see, is right here. So we've got a chocolate donut times a pink donut, no sprinkles on this one, divided by our chocolate donut with sprinkles equals 
Okay, it's got lots of options here. So if we look here at the pair options, I'll just move this toolbox down so we can see a bit clearer. So we have lots of different options for what our um, pink donuts could be. So a pink donut would be 1, 22, 10, 4 or 5. So first we know our chocolate donut by scrolling up, our chocolate donut is equal to 12. So we know that one for sure. So 12 times our pink donut divided by our pink sprinkle, sorry, our chocolate sprinkles equals 4. So option number one, our pink donut could be worth the value of 1. So that could be 12 times 1, which is 12, divided by 3 equals 4. So 12 times 1 is 12, 12 divided by 3 is 4. That's our first option. What if it was 20? Oh my goodness, that's a way bigger number. I think it's potentially unlikely, but we'll find out. So if it was 12 times 20, what I do is I do 12 times 2 first, which is 24. And I put the zero on the end, times it by 10, so that's 240. Now, 240 divided by 60 equals 4. That's going to be far too high because if we look here, the chocolate sprinkles can't possibly be 60 because 12 plus, so the chocolate donut of 12 plus something plus 60 is not going to equal 28, so there's no way it's going to be 20. All right, so let's type see if it's times 2. So we can actually cross up here. It's not going to be 1 and 20. That's going to be too big. So 12 times 2. So 12 times 2 is 24. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So the pink donut could be 2 and the chocolate donut with sprinkles could be 6. Okay, let's look at 10. So if the pink donut is equal to 10, 12 times 10 is 120. 120 divided by 30 equals 4. Okay, again, if that chocolate sprinkles donut is worth 30, looking at this equation number one line, that's impossible. It's not going to equal 28. So we know it can't be 10. All right. So let's go. That means I'm going to actually cross out. Oh, I don't need to cross out this line. I'm going to move on to 4 times 5. So the pink donut can't equal 10. <clears throat> so 12 times 4. 12 times 4 is 48. 48 divided by 12 is 4. So it could be 4 and 12. And the last option that the pink donut could be is 5. 12 times 5 is 60. 60 divided by 15 equals 4. Oops. That means if our pink donut is 1, the chocolate donut with sprinkles is going to be 3. If our pink donut is 2, the chocolate donut is going to be 6. If the pink donut is 4, the chocolate donut with sprinkles is going to be 12. If the pink donut is 5, then the chocolate donut with sprinkles is going to be 15. So these are all the different pair options. Okay, so this is getting a bit confusing. I understand it's a little bit difficult, but we're going to make our way through. So there are lots and lots of options here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new slide. Preferably not all white, not all pink.
Okay. So we've got all these different options. Actually, I might just split the screen a little bit between them so you can see it a bit clearer. So we've got lots of different options. It can be very confusing. Now, there's actually lots of different potential answers, which makes it even harder. So, so far, the only ones we know for sure is that the yellow donut is 6 and the chocolate donut is 12. Okay. Now, for the pink sprinkles and the pink donut, the pink donut can either be 1, 2, 4 or 5. Okay, so that means I'm going to just cross out some of this actually. So the pink donut, as we've worked out here, can either be 1, 2, 4 or 5. 1, 2, 4 or 5. Now we know they all have to times together to make 20. So that means the pink sprinkles can either be 20, 10, 5, or 4. They are the four options, four pairs of options that we have for each. And moving down to the chocolate sprinkles, we have four pairs of options for what that could be alongside the pink donut as well. Okay, we're getting close. So now we're going to look back at this pink sprinkles equation. Okay, which is equation two. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to choose a number. Because there seems to be quite a few options, I'm going to choose the pairing that I want. Okay, so pink with sprinkles times the regular pink donut minus 6 equals 14. Now we're going to be following BIMDAS, so we need to make sure we do the multiplication first. Or PEMDAS, whichever you call it. So I think 20 is probably going to be a bit too high, so I'm going to pick 10 and 2, okay? Just because that's what I've chosen. doesn't really matter. 10 times 2 is 20 minus 6 equals 14. So this is for equation 2. Now, if our pink donut is equal to 2, then we know our chocolate donut with sprinkles is equal to 6. So let's start writing down and uh, drawing our donuts now. So we know our yellow donut is 6. We've made our pink donut 2. We've made our pink donut with sprinkles, 10. Now moving on to that chocolate donut. So we know our chocolate donut from that first bit of working out is going to equal 12. Looking up here, if, so we're trying to figure out now our chocolate donut with sprinkles, so if our pink donut is equal to 10, which we're going to scroll down for, sorry, our pink donut is equal to 2, my mistake, we know our chocolate donut with sprinkles is going to equal 6. See, we can see here. That's the pairing. So our chocolate donut with sprinkles is going to equal 6. 
Now the only other donut we have missing now is the orange donut. Okay, so we've got chocolate donut plus orange donut. plus chocolate donut with sprinkles equals 28. So this is our equation one. So if you look to the right, you'll see chocolate donut plus orange donut plus chocolate donut with sprinkles is equal to 28. Now we know chocolate donut here, that's 12. Chocolate donut with sprinkles is six. Okay, 12 plus 6 is 18. So the orange donut must be 10. 12 plus 10 is 22, plus 6 is 28. So we're going to say the orange donut is equal to 10. Now, we've got to find out our final answer. So we've got a box of all six donuts. So what we need to do is add them all together. So 6 plus 10 is 16, plus 6 is 22, plus 2 is 24, plus 24 plus 12 is 36, plus 10 is 46. So if we add all six different donuts together, it equals 46. Now you could get a different number based on the different options that you have for those donuts. So there are actually multiple different answers. This is just one of them. I know it's a bit of a tough one, but I hope that this actually challenged a few of you to really think laterally and apply some real problem solving to your maths understanding. Okay, have a good day.